All new at five, it was supposed to be a week of booming business, and Cleveland's restaurants prepared accordingly, ordering gobs of food and tons of drinks. But a lot of local restaurants saw little to no boost from the RNC. Now they're stuck with the leftovers. Our Megan Hickey spent the day checking out the overstock. Megan, what are they going to do with all of that food? Well, a lot of that food is perishable, so restaurant owners tell me they're going to have to donate it and swallow the costs. They came for the protests, others for the convention, but not necessarily for the cuisine. Oh, thanks God. I'm so happy the convention is finally over. Businesses like this sushi restaurant in the warehouse district ordered pounds and pounds of extra fresh fish, only to receive less business than they did before the convention. We cannot have our food for a long time because most of our food is so fresh. Velimir Lusik is donating to a local shelter and swallowing the cost. He also showed me how he's running out of space to store the month's supply of beer, wine, and liquor that he ordered optimistically. Because the story was like this is going to be it. This is it. You know, we got a Republican convention. Everybody was excited. Lusick said the barricades hurt traffic to his business, a problem soul food restaurant owner Akin Alifin knows all too well. We just had to pull the plug on it. His restaurant was virtually shut down by this Secret Service barricade and the sign reading, Do Not Enter. The message was so clear. He stuck with four times as much booze as normal and he said it's going to hurt his cash flows. But there's a silver lining. After the word circulated online about his misfortune, he tells me people started calling in from across the country, ordering 20 meals at a time. They'll never eat it, never been to Stone Town. I don't know if they'll ever come to Cleveland. Hopefully they will. But they just want to show their support. Now, Alephant says he plans on donating the meals that people have been calling in to local homeless shelters. Live in Cleveland, Megan Hickey, News Channel 5. With our beautiful.